cute as a cupcake. Where the cupcakes are more than just cute, they're delicious. Get by cute as a cupcake in Maryville, Indiana at 2008 West 81st. Yes, that's 2008 West 81st in Maryville, Indiana. Where the cupcakes are more than just cute, they're delicious. Now, if you're anywhere else, then you go to www.cutasacupcake3.com and you can order cupcakes delivered directly to your door. Exactly, directly to your door. So, www.cutasacupcake3.com where the cupcakes are more than just cute, they're delicious. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I, and I am him, the 800 Credit Score Man himself. And once again, thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I truly, truly appreciate it. So what are we going to get into today? So today we're going to talk about a subtle difference, if you will, a subtle, subtle difference in the way credit bureaus are looking at you and evaluating you when it comes to your credit and where you sit. Are you in a poor range? Are you in a fair range? Are you in a good range? Are you in an excellent range? We're going to talk about that a little bit today. Nothing to panic about, but you all know. And I don't want you guys to get worried about everything and feel down because it seems like every time you get that stride going and you start to do things the way that you have been told and taught, um, to get things done, then sometimes they move a goalpost on you. Not really a goalpost move, but we're going to discuss some subtle differences in what they're looking at and how they're looking at them and evaluating you as a consumer at this point. So we're going to deal with that today. I'm also going to follow up with you on the whole collections piece. So I told you the month of September was a great time to tackle those collections. We're going to follow up on that and give some congratulations out as well to some people that have done an excellent job with their credit um, by following some of those things and some of the advice that have come from the 800 Credit Score Man Show. So welcome in. Thank you so much. We're a little bit behind today. We're a little bit behind today. I don't know what's going on with this computer system, but it's a lag in it. Um, they're skipping in the music. It's all kind of stuff going on, but we were determined determined to actually get a show out uh, for you guys today so welcome me and thank you so much for coming in and checking out the show so before i get started i got some shout outs to do i missed you last week so some people had birthdays i gotta get shout out some significant absolutely significant people um to me for sure so my aunt jane so aunt jane Aunt Jane, Emma Jane King, happy, happy belated birthday to you. Uh, Jane, she celebrated her birthday. Uncle Skippy, my Uncle Skippy, Norman Bacon, he celebrated his birthday as well. So happy, happy birthday to you, Uncle Skippy. If you guys don't have an Aunt Jane or Uncle Skippy in your corner, you got to find one. You got to get one. I mean, I'm telling you, without these people, um, I don't know where I would be. And Jane helped raise me, as far as I'm concerned. Uncle Skippy has always had my back ever since I've known the man. So, happy birthday to you guys. Um, my little cousin, uh, Louis Kathy, he celebrates his birthday today. So, happy birthday to you, little big cuz, because I think he's bigger than me. So, happy birthday to you. And my nephew, Sherrod Denson, he celebrated his birthday last week. So, happy, happy birthday to you, nephew. Um, you know I love you, man. All right. So, let's get to a couple of things. So, uh, I wanted to ask you. Did you actually deal with your collections last month? I told you September 23rd, I think was actually the date that I said, that's a good day to start contacting them so you can deal with these collections. And I told you why. I told you why that was. So it's the end of a quarter. September is the end of a quarter. This is the third quarter. Some places actually count this as their fourth quarter. And then they start anew in October. But it's the end of a quarter, and it's a great time for you to deal with those collections if you want to negotiate for a lower amount and anything else you need from them. So you need removal from your credit report, those kinds of things. That was a great time to do so. So did you do that? And if you did do that, congratulations to you. Congratulations. I hope it turned out as good for you as it did um, as for a couple of people I'm going to mention uh, to you today. So what was the uh, outcome? So what happened? So 
contact me. Let me know. I love to hear your success stories, the failures that you had, whatever didn't work out for you or whatever worked out for you. Please contact me. Let me know. I do want to know how this worked out for you. So 800 at creditscoreman.com is where you can catch me and send me an email and let me know what worked for you and frankly what didn't work for you so maybe i can help you with that or maybe i can correct some things on my end to get better results as well so please contact me with that and let me know so here's what i want you to do if you did have some success if you did make a quote-unquote deal with somebody i want you to watch for it to come off your credit report so you need to stay on top of these people and make sure that they um do what they said they were going to do you got to hold them accountable when it comes to these to these things especially if you made a payment to them and they promised to take it off your credit report now if they didn't agree to take it off your credit report here's what i want you to do i want you to wait until let's say mid-november mid-november if you did this in september um i believe on the last show i told you that giving them some leeway with some corrections and notifying the credit bureaus of what's actually going on with your account so typically it's gonna you know it's 30 to 35 days and it should be coming off your credit report but if you did this in september like i said around the september 23rd i don't care if you didn't get it done to the, to the 30th of the month if you did this i want you to wait till about mid-november and watch it and see if it actually comes off of your credit report see for the update if it shows that you know you have a zero balance and things of that nature now if it doesn't have the zero balance and you made your payment and you got a zero balance and and frankly you might have made a um you might have made a payment a payment arrangement so you're not you know doing a lump sum maybe you're making making payments on a monthly basis until it's gone so you may not this may not um be for you until it shows zero but if it shows and when it updates on your credit report to zero and it's still on there i want you to wait around mid-november maybe right before thanksgiving time and whatnot and see if it actually comes off your credit report if they agree to do it even and even if they didn't agree to do it here's what i want you to do when you see that it shows zero on your credit report you don't owe them a dime anymore at all if it hasn't come off your credit report i want you to file a dispute where are you filing your dispute at and to whom you're going to file that dispute to transunion equifax or and and or Experian. so whichever one it was on because it's not always your collections are not always on all three credit bureaus but wherever it was already on i want you to file a dispute with them in your dispute and you can actually do this online you don't necessarily have to write a letter and whatnot for this you can absolutely do this file this dispute online go online file your dispute and one of the options that you're going to get is that the company actually agree to remove it from your credit report now i just told you they may not have agreed to do so but that's what i want you to do anyway just listen to me now and hear me later i want you to file a dispute saying that they actually agreed to remove it from your credit report you're filing it through transunion equifax and or experian and let them deal with it so let them contact the company and ask the company did they actually pay the amount and now it's down to zero and if uh, they agree to actually remove it from your credit report? Oftentimes, oftentimes, those companies will not respond back to the credit bureau because they got a hundred other things to do. Your account is already settled, doesn't matter to them, it's closed, it's done as far as they're concerned, and they, they may not respond back. Now, what happens when they don't respond back? then it has to come off your credit report. So that's what I want you to do. A little a little trick that you can do for your um, collections. And if you've done it in the past, if you've done it in the past, I don't care if it was April of this year or it was in 2018, 17, 2015, that matter if you have and you went and paid a collection and you hadn't learned or heard of the 800 Credit Score Man show at that time and that collection is still showing, but it's a zero on your credit report, like it's totally paid off, account settled, I don't care what they named it, then go ahead and file you a dispute and file that dispute saying that they agreed to remove it from your credit report. And let's just see, let's just see what happens with those. So that was a great time for you to do that. Hopefully you did that. 
now. And again, send me your successes. Send me your failures. Um, email me at 800 at creditscoreman.com. 800 at creditscoreman.com. Now, now it's October. We're in the last quarter of the year. Collections at these companies get low the closer and closer we get to the holidays, basically. Right? So people, if you didn't have the money before and the account went to collections, the chances, if you're celebrating anything over the holidays, if you travel, that's more money out of your pocket. If you're, you know, just a different year, but if you were celebrating or hosting, you know, a big Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, that's more money out of your pocket. That's not typically in your budget. So do people typically pay their collections? They're barely paying their regular bills. You know, your heat might uh, cost you a little bit more in your home, depending on where you live. Um, so money comes up a little bit short right so the collections and these collection agencies um they may be a little um tight they be, may be a little tight they're not collecting as much money and whatnot toward the holiday season so this is a very good time of the year a very good time of the year for you to deal with these collections as well i don't want you messing with them in october not at all december of course of course i want you messing with them with them in december is the absolute last uh, month of the year um, and that's important for them and their numbers so of course I want you to deal with them in the month of December if you can but what about November what about November so November is actually not a bad month it's not a bad month at all to start dealing with these collections either so if you have the cash to do so the wherewithal to do so November is not a bad month to start dealing with them either I would wait Towards, till towards Thanksgiving around that time before you really start digging into them and calling them and talking to them and things of that nature. I wait till Thanksgiving or so to do so, but not in October, perhaps in November, absolutely in December to deal with these collections. And you're going to do it the same way we talked about doing it. It's rinse and repeat the same way we talked about doing it in the month of September. You're going to do those things. All right. So yes, absolutely. Let's, let's make sure that that we do that. Um, let me throw out a couple more shout outs right quick. And then I'm going to get to some congratulations as well. So Ashley King, another one of my cousins, it's not a show if a King doesn't get a shout out. Right. So Ashley King, she celebrated her birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, cause, uh, Barry Johnson celebrates his birthday tomorrow. Barry Johnson, good friend of mine, actually the guy, I call him my mortgage guy. He's my mortgage guy. He closed my loan on my home. Um, great guy. Um, even better in when it comes to mortgages and business. So if you need some help with that, uh, you definitely give me a call and I'll, I'll spread, I'll give you uh, his information. Barry Johnson, happy birthday um, to you, sir. Anika Richardson King, no relation, but anybody with the last name King, you just part of the family. So happy, happy birthday to you, um, Anika uh, King. Chris Jones celebrated his birthday. Harambe Purnell celebrated his birthday. Got to give him a shout out. There won't be a year go past that I won't give you a shout out, my man. So happy, happy birthday to you. And Kim Pines also celebrated her birthday. Another great mortgage person that you can go to as well. So happy, happy birthday to you, Kim Pines as well. All right. So somebody took some advice from the show about these collections, right? So I don't know if I want to give out a name. We're going to call her Val. So Val, one young lady, she took that advice. She contacted a collection on September the 23rd. That's the date that I told you guys to do so. And it was that it's a good day. It was safe to go ahead and contact them, uh, these collection agencies for the best negotiating and to save yourself some money. If you're trying to negotiate some of that money off, let me tell you how much she saved from this collection, which is going to do what? First of all, she's going to pay it off. So it'll be down to zero. Is going to help her credit score increase. If they agree to remove it, or even if they didn't, and she follows the next strategy to get it off of her credit report, her credit score is going to go up exponentially because she did so. So how much money did this young lady save herself? She saved herself $2,498. You heard me, $2,498, not $24.98. $2,498 by utilizing the strategy that I just told you guys about. 
that I told you about a couple of weeks ago. That's how much money she saved herself. So I don't know who was more excited and ecstatic. If it was me or her, well, I'm going to take that back. I'm sure.